Hi everyone, my name is Bindu and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you an awesome trick where you will be able to dynamically add or remove the columns of a table in Power BI report. Even in the real world, it's very common for the end users to ask for such kind of requirement. If they select on one category, they want to see certain number of columns and if they change the category, they want to increase or decrease the number of columns they see in the Power BI report. If you don't know how to do this, in this video, you'll be able to learn the trick. So without any delay, let's get into my laptop. If you look at my screen, this is the sample report I have which will show you to dynamically add or remove columns in a table. The table I have is on the right side and the left side I have the slicer where I select one category from here and the category I select only that category is visible in the table. I select customer ID, it changes to customer ID here. I select purchase date, you see only purchase date column. If I want to see multiple things here, I control click on the um, attributes I want to select, then those get added to the table here. And if I unselect the slicer, I'll be able to see all the columns. So this is the simple data set I have. Let's see from the beginning how to achieve this. I opened a blank Power BI report here and I also loaded the data into the report. So here I have the data set on the right and I'm opening the query here. So these are the columns I have. I have name, customer ID, purchase date and bill amount. So first thing you need to do is you need to identify the one that distinguishes each row. Here name is the uh, column that distinguishes each row. So what I am doing here is I right click on the column and I select unpivot other columns. Okay, so I did that. And now this is what the data looks like. Now I am changing this to the um, I'll, uh, name it as column to be selected or something and that's it. Okay, now I change this, uh, I rename this column to column to be selected and I'm just saving close and apply the uh, data set. Okay, now what do I do is first I select this column to be selected one data here and in the column to be selected in this column we have bill amount, customer ID and purchase date. So we have to filter on these three columns, on these three values of this column. Okay, I'm making this as a slicer now. So I'm changing this to slicer. And now you need to add a matrix here. You should not add a table because this matrix, it allows you to add or reduce the columns in, in the table. So matrix is the good choice here. So you need to choose matrix here for this purpose. So I'm choosing matrix and I'm uh, just dragging this, expanding this for a uh, better visual. And to this matrix, I'll be bringing in the name into rows, that's what we want to see, and column to be selected into columns and value into values here. And because it's a matrix, I'll just turn off uh, the totals, the row and column totals. Just turning this off. Okay. Now, Did I turn this into slicer? Okay. Okay. Now I turned it into slicer. So what do I need now? If I select on bill amount, I just want bill amount. Customer ID, I want customer ID. Purchase date, I want purchase date. I unselect all of them. You see all the rows. You see all the columns. So this is a simple trick in Power BI where you just have to unpivot the columns in the data set and that's all. I hope you learned something new today in Power BI. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. And I'm also including the sample file below in the description box. You can go there and play with the data. See you in the next video. Thank you.